So I want to show you how you can use Camtasia 9 to do your post-production on chroma key. So blue screen or green screen. I've already identified my media and I've put in the media bin. Uh, I've also put my uh, track against the, uh, the, the blue screen in this case. And I've actually put that as track 2. So these different tracks tend to uh, lay on top of each other. So track 2 is over the top of track 1. And so I'm going to put my background um, at track 1 so that when we remove this color, I will be in front of the background. So um, firstly, can you see that obviously the, the blue screen doesn't extend as far as uh, the width of the screen. So I need to go ahead and just crop that off a little bit. And now I can just center that. Now, we'll just have a look at the size of, um, where is our, okay, so that, that pretty well covers the screen, which is good. This is our backdrop, and this is actually a video, I'll just show you, so that's a video, which is kind of nice. All right, so now I'm going to go ahead and put um, me over the top of that, and the next and most important thing we have to do is we need to remove this color blue. So we're going to visual effects and then we find remove a color and we're going to actually drag that down to our timeline to indicate that it's going to affect this one here. All right, now if we have a look over here, we have to select the color we want to remove. Um, and the best way to do it is to select this eyedropper and take a sample. So I'm just going to take a sample there. And you can see it's been removed. The reason it's black behind it is because our backdrop is not at this point. So if I move it back this way and press play. And automation. We've got overcome consumption and overpopulation. So you can see that um, the, the, the blue's been removed and we can see the backdrop behind it. The next thing we can do if we want is we can add picture in picture. So we'll grab this guy here and put it in track three. Okay, so that's on crop and we take it off crop by pressing the arrow and now we can resize it. And I might put that up here in the corner if it was relevant to do that. We've got a loss of traditional job. There you go. And, and so it's as simple as that, we're done. And so the only two things you need to remember, it's about the layering. And the next thing is about uh, removing the color.